Happy holidays everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 challenge of the month. And today we're going to create the challenge for December. The challenge is an assembly so I'm going to go to our main file, right click and select new component. Left click this one and rename this as box-pivot. Hitting enter. I'm going to expand this one and our origin planes turning on this bulb and I'm gonna go to our XY plane right click and select create sketch and before we hit letter L to grab our line I want you to untick snap to grid and incremental move moving forward I'm gonna hit L grabbing our line tool let's create our slot here so left click here and left click holding my left mouse button to create an arc, release, moving up, hovering over this endpoint, moving down, holding left click and connect our arc to the endpoint, release, hitting escape. So take note of our constraints. I have this as horizontal, same with this as they are both parallel. I have four tangent constraints. Next, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension, selecting our center point and the center point. Left click here to drop our dimension. I'm going to key in 50, hitting enter. Dimension tool still active. Next, selecting this arc, dropping our dimension here. I'm going to key in 8, hitting enter. I'm going to zoom in, hit C to grab our circle, create a circle on this center point. The diameter to be 8, hitting enter, hitting C once more, creating another circle here. Left click, I'm going to hit escape and select the circle, control left click the circle, right click and select equal. Let's now position the center of our slot to our origin. And to do that, I'm going to create a line from the center point up to the center point, hitting escape, selecting this horizontal line and hitting X, making this as a construction line, reselecting our horizontal line, holding control and selecting our origin, left click, right click and select midpoint. So inspecting, trying to move our corners to check if our sketch profile is fully constrained and yes it is another awesome indication that our sketch profile is fully constrained is by going to our preferences going to preview and selecting sketch and from here I'm going to select no thanks for now and hit OK hitting E to grab our extrude tool and prompted to select a profile, selecting the sketch profile, going to our home view. And for the direction, I'm going to select symmetric. For the measurement, selecting whole length and the distance to be 6. Operation, new body and hit OK. Let's move to our YZ plane, selecting this one. Right click and select create sketch. Hitting L to grab our line. Let's create a line from here. I'm going to hold my left mouse button to create an arc release. Creating an arc release. And left click here. Hitting escape. Next, I'm going to create a line from the midpoint. So take note of the triangle left click moving up and left click selecting this vertical line and hitting x making this as a construction line next i'd like this three endpoints to be aligned horizontally so going to horizontal vertical selecting this point and this point this point and this point hitting escape inspecting and hitting d to grab our dimension selecting this arc Dropping our dimension here. I'm going to key in 5. Hitting enter. Next, going to constraints and selecting tangent. 
selecting this line and this arc this arc and this line hitting escape next I'd like this point to be aligned vertically with our origin but first I'm gonna go to our constraints selecting equal making our arc and this arc equal hitting escape going back to constraints and selecting horizontal vertical selecting this point and our origin hitting escape and hitting D to grab our dimension I'm going to select this line and this endpoint dropping our dimension here as it says on, a, on our drawing it's 5 all around keying in 5 and hitting enter next hitting D selecting this edge and this endpoint dropping our dimension here I'm gonna key in 47 hitting enter hitting escape and inspecting hitting D so I have selected this endpoint so selecting this endpoint as well dropping our dimension here I'm gonna key in 16 I'm not sure if this is 16 or 15 anyways hitting 16 and hitting O to grab offset selecting this entity moving the slider and I'm gonna key in 5 hitting enter and hitting L to close this one as a profile so connecting this one up to this one this one and this one hitting escape so it's now a sketch profile and from here we can now hit E for extrude selecting this profile rotating grabbing this arrow and for direction selecting symmetric measurement to be whole length left click and for the distance to be 30 operation to be joined and hit OK next I'm gonna turn off the visibility of our sketch 3 and hitting C to grab our circle and selecting this XY plane left click zooming in so we're going to create the hole here so left click diameter for this hole is 6 hitting enter next grabbing our horizontal vertical constraint selecting our center point and our origin hitting D to grab our dimension selecting this edge and our center point dropping our dimension here I'm gonna key in 10 hitting enter hitting E to grab our extrude tool selecting the circular profile dragging our arrow for direction I'm going to select two sides extent for slide one is all and same with side two selecting all operation cut and hit OK and finally hitting F to grab our fillet tool selecting this edge this edge this edge and this edge the radius to be 5 hitting enter and congratulations for completing our first part for our pivot assembly see you on the next lesson